Welcome to the Knowledge Spotlight. My name is Rixel and you're watching UCTV. And of course, it's your number one lunch show. That is a lunch vibe. Mm -hmm. And uh, today, you might actually, you might be very surprised and at the same time impressed uh, because I am somewhere. Mm -hmm. And uh, we shall be discussing a lot of things. Yesterday, we were talking about uh, uh, gender empowerment mm -hmm. in that uh, we, uh, we didn't actually exhaust so much in it. So that's why today we had to extend it a little bit actually too much more in that i had to travel miles to get somebody who is going to impact us with knowledge this very afternoon so uh, allow me welcome you officially to mukazi Preneur, and of course uh, we shall be discussing a lot of things about gender inequality today we are talking about gender inequality and of which uh, this beautiful lady will be telling us more about it uh, a very good afternoon Good afternoon. An introduction for the beginners. Thank you so much. Uh, my name is Patricia Claire Nagadia from Mokazi Preneur Hub, and I'm the program administrator for High Innovator. Okay. Yes. Uh, first of all, before even I, I, I go to our topic of discussion, what is uh, Mokazi Entrepreneur uh, for, for starters? For starters, as you can hear it, Mokazi Entrepreneur, it's a, it basically means Mokazi is a Luganda word meaning woman. Yeah. And entrepreneur meaning women in business. Okay. So that's the genesis of Mokazi Preneur. How long has it been operating? Uh, basically, uh, our founder, Miss uh, Imi, Imi Nacheine, I know Mugisha, founded okay. uh, this place in uh, this uh, Mokazi Entrepreneur in 20, 2018. Okay. So roughly, I would say seven to eight years. Yeah, yeah, true. Yes. Okay, uh, welcoming you to the Lunch Vibe, a uh, show that runs on UCTV, Uganda Catholic TV, good news for all. Mm -hmm. And uh, we are talking about, yesterday I had a discussion with some other lady who was trying to elaborate about uh, gender empowerment. Mm -hmm. In that, we talked a lot. I don't want to cheat for your exams. So today we are talking about gender inequality. Mm -hmm. How probably do you understand gender inequality as you? Uh, basically, as me, gender equality is quite something uh, broad. Okay. But um, this has been a global issue. It's still a global issue, although it's being uh, tackled here and there, but there are a lot of discrepancies. Uh, basically, gender inequality would, uh, would mean basically as women being at a very disadvantaged level mm. compared to the other gender, <laughs> I would not want to say which or which. Uh. Okay. So we don't basically have equal opportunities than the other gender when we're executing different things, be it our family life, be it our education, be it in our business ventures. Mm. So basically it's not a fair play, it's not a leveled ground. We don't have seats on different tables that, that could uh, help us grow okay. as uh, women in our different careers, uh, in our families, or in different ecospaces. Okay. So basically, to me, that's how I understand gender inequality. Gender inequality, uh, when you compare, this is 2023, and probably, let me take it back 10 years ago, mm. 2013. Mm. Uh, do you think it is still active as it was in 2013? I wouldn't say that it is still active. Okay. I would want to acknowledge that uh, the gap, uh, many people have tried to bridge that gap. Okay. But I would want to acknowledge there are still, ha there are still a few hiccups here and there. Okay. Because uh, we have seen uh, the government try and create s simple opportunities for us. Mm. We've seen uh, different networks try to come up with, uh, with uh, different um, programs, different collaborations, different partnerships where they say uh, women uh, that this is uh, for a special group of people. Okay. Different women in businesses, different women operating in such and such a caliber. So I would say there has been a shift, but there is still a gap. I am sure by 2003, mm -hmm. I'm still taking two decades back, yes, you, you, you had knowledge in that mm -hmm. when you look at how women mm -hmm. used to have opportunities, authority mm -hmm. by then and now, mm -hmm. where do you think there was a gap back then? Mm. Ah, back then. Where was the bigger gap? The bigger gap, I would say, would uh, rhyme back to, to the stereotypes. 
Okay. You would, uh, back then, as a woman, I was expected immediately after school mm -hmm. that I would say high school, the best thing for me as per our communities or society norms was to enter into a marriage. Okay. And, uh, pro uh, and uh, enter into the marriage, procreate, yet uh, the other gender is progressing on. Mm -hmm. They are opening up businesses, they are going for higher education, they are entering institutions, they are entering universities. We were not accorded the same opportunities then. Yeah. Yesterday, somebody told me uh, because a woman has been empowered mm. in many ways and the other, mm. and uh, that person said it has again brought gender inequality, which is actually now affecting affecting the male side. Mm. What do you think about that? If current, like currently, 2023. This 20, is 2023, mm. you feel like because we've been empowered. No, somebody <laughs> told me because a woman was empowered, mm. it has now brought again gender inequality to the side of male. To the side of male, I would want to acknowledge that uh, as a community, <laughs> to a smaller extent, it's true. To okay. a smaller extent, okay. it's okay. true, and this is why. Uh -huh. mm? Now let's discuss about that smaller mm. extent because that is. Mm. Mm. About. Mm. I feel like the community we've given our all mm, and concentrated on the female gender. You will see like when you're entering the university, special points are accorded to the female gender. Uh, we will see that uh, they're creating programs uh, to access funding for the female gender. Mm. And uh, so meaning the boy child, all any, any of the milk counterpart who wants to open up a business is not is not looked after mm. because we are forefronting the women meaning they feel abandoned and they we have we have neglected training them yet these are our spouses all partners to our daughters so we have greatly neglected giving them some va so some core values okay. meaning they will they will not thrive wow now what do you think should be done to achieve mm. or to retrieve mm. gender equality? That's quite a big thing, but I feel like it starts from our family values, okay. family values as a community. So I would like to encourage us, people out there, when we are grooming the girl child, because we are all, all the time we are fronting the girl child, you have to learn the basics of life, you need to pray, to cook, you need to be educated nowadays, you need to learn, you, you need to learn how to drive. We are impacting you need digital skills, we are impacting all these things in the girl child. Let us equally give the same attention to the what? To the boy child. Because if they are the same footing, there will be respect. And if there is respect, meaning they are going to all want to thrive. And okay. meaning we shall have a better society. Now let me leave let me leave an open ground for you. Mm. I want to hear your mind about gender equality mm. today. Gender equality gender like inequality. Inequality. Yeah. Today. Today. Today what today what it looks like? I would term it in terms of uh, access what I know best. Access to resources. Okay. Many of the women are uh, in our communities we are trying to uplift ourselves and get out of, of waiting for you men to give us money all the time. Eh? So we're trying to open up small businesses of our own, but you'll find that we don't have, we don't ably have access to resources. Why? Resources like exp exploring ventures for funding for our small businesses. Mm -hmm. It's because the different women in societies, we don't have access to collateral. You'll find that as a woman, my spouse my, or my partner is uh, in charge of the land, eh, is in charge of the cars. And when I go to these banks to ask for loans for, uh, for, so that I can invest in my business, they'll tell me, Madam, where is your collateral? Somebody and I told don't have me, that. Even if eh? women are given everything, mm. they will still ask for money. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> we are working with a group of and a community of over five five thousand women, and these are women who have businesses in uh, actually in uh, their 
We have Mohan Enterprises. That this woman does shoes. Okay. Mm? We have someone who does hair out of fiber. Mm? Mm. These are all women-led businesses. We have someone uh, manufacturing soap, not soap like liquid soap, yeah, like real soap. real soap on the market because we know soap is a very, uh, it's a basic need. Eh? But once we don't explore these opportunities for these women, there's no way they're going to go. So basically, to me, that is gender inequality. Before you move on, also access to networking opportunities. And also, I would also want to look at leadership roles. You'll find that we enter, the, me and you will enter a different company on the same ground entry level. But you'll find that all the leadership roles are given to you men. It's to women these days. I'm, I'm just saying how, how gender inequality, <laughs> eh? the leadership role, tr trust me, look at all those boards. You'll find that you'll find an aggressive woman. You'll have to fight twice as hard because they'll look at me and they'll say, I'm going to get pregnant. As, as I'm winding up, should I give you an example of... Um, for Axel, our country, this mm. is something we were discussing yesterday. Mm. Who mm. is the Prime Minister of Uganda? <laughs> Who okay. is the Vice President? When has it come? Who is the Speaker of Uganda? <laughs> <laughs> the woman-led government. When has it come? Just recently here. Okay. It has taken course, how uh, many years to <laughs> get all right, here? All right. mm. uh, the conversation is a bit broad, mm. and of which uh, we are discussing about uh, gender mm. inequality. Mm. How has the girl child been left behind? Mm. And of which I'm sure you must be also having an opinion or an idea, but you can still uh, share with us on our social media platforms. Mm. And of which this is a discussion that is going to be mm. recurring. I can't stop it today because it's something that is still going. So probably uh, your last say as we wind up with this segment. My last say in terms of gender inequality. Yes. Uh, I would want to encourage us women not to sit back, to stand up and look out for any kind of opportunity that will get, out, get us out of our comfort zones. Let us network, let us join different forums where there are different kinds of women doing di venturing into different uh, activities. Okay. I believe we can grow and get out of our comfort zones. Okay, and of course as we sign out, is there any, tho any song you're dedicating to anybody <laughs> out there? Any song of your choice? Any song of my choice? Uh -huh, I love music, but at the moment I'm caught off guard. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me take you through this one. Of course, it's been the Knowledge Spotlight on UCTV, and of which uh, this is a segment that is under the lunch vibe. We shall be coming back straight away. Keep it locked.